free will she know freedom or live under the developing authoritarian rule of a communist state. The future of freedom in Alberta and that of our children, is in your hands. Many Albertans have risen to stand against the tyranny exacted by a number treasonous public officials, and their appointed co-conspirators. Their involvements are unlawful and rise to the level of criminal acts. We are near the completion of a petition vehicle for judicial review. It will be the most profound legal remedy ever put forth in the courts to defend the civil liberties and rights secured by the Alberta Bill of Rights. The petition is nearing completion and includes about $160,000 of equivalent work, law research, consulting, and writing, thus far. But now, we need your help. We need funds for the filing, service, publication, distribution and dispatch to the rest of Canada. As well, we need transportation, and lodging for appearance before the Court of Queen's Bench and Appeals Court. The funds are also needed for our social media news, video productions and information to combat the government-controlled mainstream media propaganda. Alberta law is significantly different from all the other provinces of Canada. Alberta is governed by and its citizens are protected by the Alberta 1980 Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights includes a notwithstanding clause unlike any other province in Canada. The provision mandates that any change to the rights of the people of Alberta can only be invoked by an act of Alberta's legislature not by any individual or government entity nor appointed medical officer. As well, it requires public hearings before a vote by the legislature. No other province has this protection. There is no provision that give authority to subvert the rights of the Alberta citizenry. Not by any public official, nor individual, including the premier, ministerial officer, appointed government official or law enforcement officer. Such subversion by any individual is a criminal act. The perfidious betrayal of Alberta's freedom and flagrant violation of law by Jason Kenney, Dina Hinshaw and others in their attempt to establish a communist state is wholly unlawful. Their actions, are at the very least, seditiously criminal and reek of treason. In response to defend Alberta, thousands have risen to oppose this violation of the Alberta Bill of Rights. Join us in this very important litigation. Our freedom is the indivisible essence of Canadian life. Liberty includes not only economic liberty but civil liberties, the freedoms of free speech, religion and assembly, and privacy rights as well, all of which are historic rights that our civilization has cherished from our genesis. Our positions on other issues can be inferred from these general principles of freedom. Our country is suffering the oppression of our freedom in the name of government necessity by the flagrant use of usurpations of the Alberta Bill of Rights. These are sad and trying times. The testament to our courage will be the remedy we advance to recover and return to the principles our fathers of modern Alberta freedom brought to us. Attorney Merv Leitch and the Honorable Peter Lougheed, fought for the inclusion of the notwithstanding clause in the Bill of Rights. They pursued the respect for the Alberta Bill of Rights, the rule of law, and individual liberty, in the campaign for freedom. That guarantee of liberty has been despoiled and betrayed by the present regime of tyrants. Join us in this very important litigation. This GoFundMe campaign will pay the costs to fight the subversion of the Alberta Bill of Rights and perhaps, lead Canada to a real constitution of liberty and freedom. Just a 10, 20, 
or $30 contribution will go a long way to help complete this litigation. Will we let them suffer the tyranny and enslavement by the present ruling authoritarian regime who enforce their will with their Gestapo fashioned police forces? Or, can we recover the freedom we once enjoyed that our children might relish in the joy it brings the spirit and soul? Albert Einstein wrote that freedom, in any case, is only possible by constantly struggling for it. Alberta. We must struggle for our freedom.